want me to say something, right? Yeah. Okay. Grab that. I see, see you grabbed your mic already. Let's go. <laughs> mic. No, just introduce yourself to everyone. Loudly. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. My name is um, DJ Lab, Lee for short, whatever, Lab for short. Um, I've been DJing for about 35 years, give or take a few years, for all the people that know me. Good to see you again, for all the people that don't. Nice to meet you. Um, this has been a prolif uh, prolification of us all coming together and trying to decide what's the best way to um, enter the house scene in Atlanta. And we came up with this, you know, um, my creative juices for DJing had kind of simmered down because I was going to sell all this stuff and do something grown folks do, I guess you could say. No, he wasn't. <laughs> but <laughs> when I met Driz, then he introduced me to LaRue and how excited and, and you know, how much energy and motivation they had for doing this kind of sparked my creative juices again. And I started back getting a little bit more involved. Uh, with DJ because to, to me it just it's just saturated it's a whole saturation there's so many DJs now so many so much equipment that can make you be a DJ um, that the purest part of it like this the two turntables mm -hmm. and a mixer and a microphone has kind of faded away it's kind of nostalgic now you know people don't really do this anymore so we wanted to do this uh, my set was gonna it's going to be a minimalist set it's going to be like more minimal music but I am going to mix other things in there because I've always been when I started DJing back in 83, 84 we always mixed whatever we had into the into the mix we considered everything everything that we had as house music so it was no it wasn't a case of this genre that genre since I was born and raised in Chicago I was I was um, there when house music started I carried crates for a lot of DJs Ron Hardy and I knew uh, Farley and I kind of met Frankie Knuckles for a little while, but all those guys kind of just played what they had. They didn't really say, well, this is Deep House, or this is Afro House, or this is this house. They just, whatever it was they had, they played. So, and that kind of correlated itself into house music. Um, I don't, I'm not really a good speaker, so. I'm going to end it on that note. <laughs> um, I'm going to end it on that note. Where should, where should we follow you? Uh, you can follow me at DJ Lab 1202 on Instagram. Uh, Misfits Radio on TV on Instagram. Um, yeah, Slick 316, underscore 316 on Instagram. Uh, by the way, Slick is my right hand. Mm -hmm. One man and man. <laughs> she keeps everything. She keeps me in line. She keeps me straight. Uh, keeps me motivated to keep doing things. So, yeah. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. So, anyway. That being said, let's get it going. All right. I hope, I hope y'all enjoy the set. I'm going to do my best to entertain. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you something about house music. It's not just a groove. House is a feeling. And when you feel it, you will understand that house music is freedom. Freedom to be who you want to be. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. For in my house, we are all free, one nation, God's children, coming together in the spirit of house. Feel it, children. House music can make you do things, lifts you up, and takes you higher. When you feel it, you will understand. It's all right. Feel it, children. Stand on up, throw your hands up in the air, set your body free, let the music take you higher. When you feel it, you will understand, the house music is freedom.
another day.